Every year, Alpine School District builds a house, and this house is built entirely by students. It is planned out by students and constructed by students. So this is the district house that was built two years ago. The one last year was same floor plan, a few different details of it. Students create and pick out all the aspects of this house. They are picking out the wall color, the finishing details, the tile that you see, the light fixtures, all sorts of things that are going to be in this. And they learn to install it and um, plan out all these things that would be in a house. So there are a few things that are done by outside contractors, the foundation, the plumbing, the electrical wiring and such, but the actual installation of all the other things are done by students. So it's not intended for use at this time, so you're going to see things that are kind of just left open and the toilets are sealed shut because they don't want the people that are coming through for an open house to actually come and use it and then create a backed up toilet as they're doing it. So the district has a real estate agent that will actually put it up for sale and the public can buy it and they are actually one of the best built houses that you will ever find because students have to do every single thing correctly. If it's incorrect, they have to take it out and do it again. So it's not the most economic, bu economically built house, but it is one that is perfectly straight walls. The, there are no shortcuts that are taken. Um, I like to go behind every door and see what's behind it. So here we have a furnace and bedroom number two. So they're applying textures on the wall. They're learning to paint, um, install closet organizers, all these kinds of things. I really don't have students that look at what they're doing here and say, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this in real life. This is probably as real life as it can get as students plan out a house for someone to live in. And here's kind of the outside part. The house that was built last year is literally right across the street where those dumpsters are. And you can kind of see the view from it. The lot was kind of long and skinny. So that's why the builder kind of gave it to Alpine District at a good price because they weren't able to really figure this out. So the construction teacher was able to come up with a floor plan that really worked for this. Students choose the style of the house. So this one is a little bit more um, kind of a mix of industrial and country farmhouse. Um, they're learning to install wood flooring. They install kitchen cabinets. They do all sorts of things. So this is just a group of the construction students kind of gathered around during the open house where this house is open for the public to come in and to just view it. So here I'm standing in the middle of the living room and just kind of turning in a 360 so you can get the basic idea. Not all rooms will have furniture in it, but they do what's called staging in this room where they actually do have furniture. They know that Houses will sell a lot better if there's furniture in it because people can actually picture and imagine what their stuff is going to look like within that space. The gentleman in that red shirt, he's a construction teacher at Lone Peak. So Lone Peak is kind of the hub for this. Um, they have the only interior design three teacher in the district and they've worked with a lot of companies to combine their networking skills to be able to find different features of having different people come in and install certain things that students aren't going to be able to do, like install a fire police. Uh, they do not actually do the landscaping. They leave the yard just kind of bare. They do this because not everybody has the same idea of what they want for landscaping. Some people might want something that they don't have to tend to a lot, or some people really like plants, and so they're going to do a wide variety of things. But they do have a landscape class at Lone Peak that they come up with typically a plan that's available for whoever will be building this. So toilet behind the closet door. Uh, the students actually picked out the vanities, the light fixtures, the mirrors, the towel racks, the handles the countertop, everything that goes in there. They had to order and make sure that it gets installed correctly. Sometimes when things come in, here we have a double shower head. 
um, when they come in, it may not be exactly as they wanted. It might be a different color or not quite the right length. So they have to figure out how to do all that. There always seems to be somebody that loves to do a barn door. So this is me coming from the kitchen kind of into the back corner. Again, another door to the outside. Uh, here we have a half bath. A half bath is something that's just, it's a bathroom that just has a toilet and a sink, but nothing else. And this is typically going to be off an area where guests are because we, although guests can go to the bathroom, we typically don't have guests that come over and just take a shower. Here we have another furnace. So we have an upstairs furnace and a downstairs furnace. Uh, there's students in the outside just hanging out in the garage during the open house. They like to do things. This is another storage closet. This is a little unique to have exposed plumbing right here. And it's going to shoot up to um, the beam in the ceiling. This was one that they really struggled with. It is required to be architecturally sound to hold up the top floor.